Today's video is going to be a vlog. I just wanted to pop in and do like a quick intro so that you guys are not just watching the video like what is she talking about. But basically I'm going to be talking about a couple of things. I'm going to be talking about the hit and run accident that I got into on New Year's Eve. So I spent New Year's in the hospital but it's fine. It is what it is. Um, and that's actually how I found out that I had COVID because I went to the hospital and I had a COVID test done. And then I had COVID for the second time. Like, I didn't understand what was going on. Then I'm going to be showing you guys some new makeup that I picked up. Some products that I want to try. So definitely subscribe. Hit the like button. Drop a comment down below. Let me know like which products you're most excited about. Um, and all that stuff. I'm also going to Home Goods, And uh, I'm giving you guys a skin update. I do have a skin treatment this Thursday. So today is January 11th. And I have one on the 14th Thursday. So I'm excited for that, but um, is that all I was talking about in the video? Mm. New makeup, skin update, car accident, getting COVID twice, home decor shopping. Yeah, that's it. So go ahead, let's get started with the video. So I'm not sure if I told you guys already, I tested positive for COVID again on, was it New Year's Eve? Yes, I tested positive for COVID on New Year's Eve. And I was so annoyed because I tested positive and my boyfriend tested negative. Like, what? That doesn't make any sense. So I was like, how is it possible that I have COVID and you do not? And I didn't have any symptoms, which, you know, you can be asymptomatic. So I wasn't ignorant towards that. I was just like, oh, like now I have to stay inside again. And I was like, obviously super annoyed. I'm just holding my calendar. Let me move it. But I was so annoyed because I'm like, bro, like, I don't even go outside. Like, I literally don't go anywhere at all like if I go anywhere it's like Target and home and it's like you know you can catch COVID there but I go there like very seldom so I was super annoyed and then I also have an esthetician appointment on Thursday so I'm like I need to test negative or I need to get retested on tomorrow like today's Sunday I need to get retested tomorrow if I'm not negative because that will be the I think that'll be the 14 14 days so I've been in quarantine for 10 days I'm rambling right now but I tested again because I was like, you know, this is crazy. And then I was also told that it could potentially be a false positive and that you can test positive for COVID even if you've never had COVID-19 because it is a strain of SARS. Medical stuff, I don't know. But um, when did I go get tested? I got tested on Friday. So today's Sunday. He just got his call. I didn't get mine yet. So I'm hoping that's a good thing, most likely. Hopefully it means that I don't have it anymore. But I, didn't, I haven't had any symptoms. Like, I've been fine. The health department calls me literally every single day, like, to check if I'm alive and breathing. Um, the hospital was calling me every single day. And it was just, like, it was very annoying. But I understand, like, they want to make sure that you're okay because not everyone is as lucky to not have any symptoms or, like, you know, I don't know what's going on internally. But I could just hope that nothing is going on. <sighs> what else did I have to tell you guys? Oh, and I made him get an antibodies test. They were very hesitant to do it, but they ended up doing it anyway. He has antibodies just like I do. So now he can finally tell everyone, like, oh, I have antibodies because he's been saying that, but he never actually had the test. So I was like, you need to get the test. But yeah, and it's the craziest thing, guys. Like, I didn't even know that I had COVID because obviously I have no symptoms. And I was just like, you know, I wasn't out and about, but I was like going on with my day as regular. And I had saw my friends like the Sunday prior, like I tested positive on the 31st and I saw my friends the Sunday before that. So I wrote them like, hey, you guys need to get tested. I wrote my family because I saw them on Christmas. Everyone needs to get tested. And like everyone is negative except me. So that's why they're like, it's probably a false positive. So I was like, oh, but I still had to quarantine anyway because we don't actually know if it's a false positive. But I'm hoping that they call me and tell me I'm negative today because I'm over it. I want to go outside. I want to go to Home Goods. That's the first stop. I'm probably going to drive to at home. Don't know how I'm that. Probably going to drive to at home in New Jersey. But... Bro, like, I'm over it. Oh, I didn't tell you guys how I'm all over the place, but I'm so, like, I'm so excited that I don't feel sick. And I'm excited because I'm hoping they call me and tell me that I'm negative. But I basically got into a car accident. I won't give any details on it because we're just not going to go into that. On New Year's Eve, it was terrible. 
went to the hospital and I was like, oh my God, we were like debating. We were like, we don't want to go to the hospital because we might catch COVID in the hospital. Like that's the worst place to be right now. Like people would rather die at home than go to the hospital. I think we can all agree on that, especially in New York City. So I was like, you know, we should go to the hospital. It's like, I'm looking here and I'm looking there. I was like, it's the best thing for us to do because you know, car accidents, sometimes you don't feel stuff until after. So I was like, let's go to the hospital, get checked out. So being that we were at the hospital, I wanted to see if I had COVID already. Like I wanted to get tested to make sure I got a negative test because then if I tested again later, I would know that I possibly contracted it in the hospital which would be good for me to know because then I would know to quarantine, et cetera, et cetera. One part I left out is I tested negative on December 14th for COVID. So I get tested for COVID like every two weeks. Don't judge me. I don't care. I'm paranoid, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, I get tested for COVID like every two weeks. So I was like, I got COVID somewhere within the last two weeks because now I'm suddenly testing negative. Like I've been getting tested regularly. So I'm just like, what the hell? So that's how I was able to like narrow it down, which is why I think it's important to get tested regularly, regularly. I don't know. I can't say that word, but I think that's why it's important to get tested all the time. And it's so funny, like this guy, my boyfriend, he was treating me all crazy. Like, oh, you have COVID, get away. But like, mind you, we're still in the same place. So I'm like, you tested negative. You're around me. Like, this is a fluke. But he was like, oh no, you have COVID. You just passed it. And I was like, oh my God, like, leave me alone. But yeah, so if they don't call me in five minutes, I'm going to call them and I'll be like on the phone with you guys. But I hope I don't have it. It's been like 10 days and I've been inside. Only place I went in the last 10 days was to get tested again for COVID. Like I haven't gone anywhere at all, as everyone should be doing when or whether or not they whether they test positive or not. Everyone should be staying home because that's how I got it in the first place. I'm jumping around so much, but um, at the hospital, I had to like force them to test me. They were like, oh, we don't think it's necessary. I'm like, what? I'm in a hospital. Two, give me my test. Cause you know, it's expedited in the hospital. You don't have to wait on a line cause you're in the hospital. So they were like, oh, you don't really need it. You don't need it. That's what the nurse kept telling me. So then the doctor came to see me and I was like, can I get a COVID test? And he was like, oh, do you think you need it? I was like, yes, I need it. And he was like, okay, I'll order one for you. I guess trying to be nice. But I don't know if he said that to me just to appease me because then when I told the nurse, she's like, oh, he didn't put it in. I'm like, girl, well, you better call whoever you got to call because I'm getting the COVID test today. And I also made my boyfriend get one. He just happened to be in a separate wing. And I was confused by that because it wasn't by gender. So I'm like, why didn't they just put us next to each other, especially since there's no space in the hospital? Like when I tell you guys the hospital is in bad shape, it's in bad shape. Like, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the hospital. I would hope not. But so you have some knowledge. The little like sections they have usually for one patient with a curtain now has like a rinky dink divider in half. And you're basically like less, less than three feet, not the recommended six feet, less than six feet away from the person next to you, which is crazy to me. There's no privacy. There's no anything. It's a mess. And then also I'm in the hospital afraid to catch COVID and I'm in there with the COVID giving it to other people. But thankfully I was so paranoid. I had on two masks. Not that I think that makes a difference, but I had on two masks. So I was like, okay, I'm good. Now I catch your COVID in here. But um, yeah, they called me the next day like, oh, you tested positive. You need to quarantine for 10 to 14 days, blah, 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 blah. And I was just like, what? That's when they kept calling me. They called me so many times. And then I think... Was it the third day the doctor called me? And I was like, let me just ask her. So I was like, I tested positive. I've never tested positive before, but I have antibodies. And then she just kept asking me about symptoms. She asked me, like, do I have, like, some finger clip to, I guess, like, check my pulse? I think that's what it's for. And I was like, no. Why am I holding this when I could just, like, put it down? I'm dead holding the tripod on the desk. Like, that doesn't make any sense at all. But let me just fix this. But, yeah, she was like... So I was like, you know, I've heard of false positives in terms of like, you'll keep testing positive for COVID even if you had it like two months ago, which is why they don't really know the specifics of the virus. But I was just like, bro, like what? Like, 
So I basically I'm I'm pissed. Like if I'm if I'm going free, I'm going everywhere today. I'm going to Sephora. I'm going to Marshalls. I'm going to Uniqlo. I have so much Christmas stuff to return. I have clothes from Zara that I need to take back. I'm getting the f out of here today. I need to go. I'm over it. But this is like a whole COVID rant, if you guys haven't noticed. And how they be treating us in the hospital? Like, what do you mean I can't get a COVID test? And then look, sis is positive for COVID. Like, I would not have known that. And I would have been around my family like, ah. But I did plan to like fake quarantine after I came out of the hospital just because I was in the hospital. But yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, I'm probably going to make this like a week vlog, like my COVID rant. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think you guys might like this style video because I usually post this on Instagram and people actually watch it and I'm surprised because I'm just like, yo, I'm just ranting. But it is valuable information. Like, make sure if you go to the hospital, you either quarantine after or you get a COVID test while you're there so you can minimize the spread and also pinpoint the spread and who you were in contact with to see exactly where you contracted the virus. But I'm about to call them now, actually. Let me see if I can get through on the phone. Um... Let's see. All right, so let me get the number. Let me get the number for the for the um for the urgent care because I need to know right now. I need to plan the rest of my day. Maybe I don't need to cook breakfast and I can go buy some because I can go outside. Thank you for calling Chai Urgent Care. If you have a medical emergency, please call nine one one. This is me assuming that I'm negative. Location. For a list of our other locations, please dial one. Your call may be recorded for quality assurance purposes. Let me publish this video. I'm doing a cook with me, guys. So make sure you guys watch it, because I'll be cooking. I'll be cooking all the good food. Here we go. Please dial two. For lab results, please dial three. So I'm gonna. Oh, I didn't publish the video because I didn't airdrop the. So this is my thumbnail. If you guys can see it, let me turn down my screen by this. Thank you for calling Chai Urgent Care. Y'all, I done missed the whole prompt. So that's my thumbnail. It's just a picture of the food. I thought it was cute. I took it with my new camera, which I'm recording on right now. Okay. I don't think I have to press anything because they don't say so. Alright. I'm going to move this out your way. Maybe I can put you guys like... Ooh. My room is a mess. I don't know where to put y'all. Y'all just going to have to stay. Published is going up and it's stuck. Cook with me, cook with me. Oh, wait, I didn't put the thumbnail. Oh no. Oh hell no. Hi, can please hold? Okay. Oh my goodness, it's public and it don't got no thumbnail. Oh my goodness. Ow! Let me just grab it. Don't. Oh, oh my god. Y'all, why would I do that? I didn't even realize that I didn't put it on. It should be fine though. Come on, where is it? Okay, drag. Alright, we're good. Save. Alright, you guys can't see. I just added the thumbnail. Just added it. Now, waiting for it to load. Come on, now hurry up. You see, now this thing is moving slow. Maybe I'll just do it from my phone. I'm gonna just do it from my phone. So I'm gonna go to YouTube Studio and I'm just gonna load the video well i already loaded the video i just need to put the thumbnail on 
because stupidy girl didn't realize that she forgot it. Alright, where is it? No! Alright, custom thumbnail. We live, baby. We live. Period. We on there. Easy one pan chicken dinner. <laughs> Okay, all right, so now I don't have to worry about this, but it looks like it's not on the correct playlist. Let me just check. This was my first cooking video, y'all. Why is it listed as private? Okay, we live, baby. I think this is just not updated, but that doesn't make any sense because I literally just updated it on the computer. All right. I'm still on hold, as you guys can hear. My grandmother just called me. Y'all know she be chatting. Like, but thank God I got my grandmama. Thank God I got a praying grandma. Thank God. Thank God Almighty. I actually only have one grandmama left, so I'm cherishing this one. Um, bro, is it busy today? Like, and I have the app. I don't know why it's not on here. Like. Tell me that I'm negative. Bruh, I'll just re start recording again as soon as they answer the phone because this is like nuts. What's your last name? Macintosh. Oh, I remember you. I just touched you. Yeah, you were negative. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. Bye. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm finally free. Oh, oh my god. I'm negative. I'm negative. Imagine I didn't have it this whole time. Oh my god. I just gave myself a headache. It's so funny because now I have like a light cough and I'm cold. Do I have it again? Like, okay. I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my day now that I don't have COVID-19. And I'm so excited. Oh my God. Ugh. How long have I been inside? It's been a week. It's been so long. Just being inside and not having the freedom to go outside is an issue. We can, like oh my God, people. I'm so happy. What do you mean? Nobody wants to stay inside. Like what, how much really, like how much organizing can I really do? I'll see you guys later. Thank you. I mean, let him get off you. That's why, you know. Some idiot take it. We know that kind of idiot take it. Okay, this is video. If you are experiencing any of the following symptoms or having any other medical images. Now, I have a few quick questions for you. Now, I'm going to list some fever. No, I don't have any symptoms. Like they're gonna keep monitoring until you're, even though you tested negative, so your monitoring data is finished. For a year, you said? Let's, let's say you. No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm so sorry. Until your monitoring date, um, let's say if your monitoring is gonna end on the 16th, you know, or the 16th, and then you have to wait for your monitoring data to be finished. Okay. Let's say you got it on the 16th, okay.
I don't think she knows how to use a phone. She kept talking and it was hanging up. Okay, so they've been calling me every day for the past two weeks, which is fine. You know, they want to check on me. But I just told her I don't have COVID anymore. She still keeps asking me, which is also fine because you could have like after effects and all that stuff. But that's not for this video. I am going to Home Goods. That's where I've been trying to go. Going to Home Goods. All right, guys. Oh my God, the sun is nuts. I'm going to have to put this up. What the sun is in the front. All right, so I'm about to have my first meal since they let me out. Free me until it's backwards. It is officially backwards. Chanara free. I'm eating at Cafe Madeline. I have this pineapple ginger lemonade that I'm about to try. So you guys will be the first to see if it's good or not. Hold on, I actually gotta put this down. Um, let me just put the camera up here. That's not gonna work. I hope it's sweetened. You know these healthy places, they wanna like. Wow, that is ginger. <laughs> super potent like I could almost like throw water in here and some sugar and make another one wow oh my god oh let me call my boyfriend tell him they can leave the salad out of my they put like this side salad on there and I do not want it sorry guys I don't know what to do about this sun issue that I'm having right now Babe, you could tell yeah. them to leave the salad out of my tray if, if it's not too late. It's too late for that, babe. All right, bye. Right. You don't put that nasty salad in my tray. Do I look like a bitch that eats it? I don't want salad. Mm. Oh, why do I have this on in the car? <sighs> I'm also excited to not have COVID anymore because I told y'all already, I'm going to keep saying it again. I'm going to Home Goods. And Sephora and she'll go return some stuff that I have bought for Christmas so I'm gonna do that and then I'm also going to what you gonna call it it's something else that I'm supposed to be doing oh I finally get to go back to my esthetician appointment is on Thursday so yeah of course we'll get a vlog um fingers crossed I can get a chemical peel if not eh, at least I can get something my skin is doing a little better but I still do have hyperpigmentation but it's so much lighter than it was before. But. Alright. See you guys in a minute. So we have a rental right now. We have a 2020 Toyota RAV4. And I was just thinking like. I'm trying to drive this car. And it is so big. I typically drive like a Honda Accord. But I have driven Jeeps. But this one for some reason. It feels so big. But it's like there's not that much space in here. Like it doesn't make any sense. And I was just thinking like. I never want to be a soccer mom. Like. Gotta be driving this big thing around with all them kids in it. Do not sign me up. I'm going to, I'm not going to Home Goods yet. I'm going to Sephora, all the other places. I'll see you guys in a minute. So I finished at Sephora. I picked up some stuff. I'm probably going to show you guys. If not in this video, then in another video. I got some good, good stuff. I actually got another color of the Fenty Potter Foundation. And I got four shades lighter, so... I don't know what's going on. I just wanted to show you guys really quickly what I picked up. I picked up the Fenty Hydrating Longwear Foundation. Look at my fat toes. I've been hearing really good things about it. And I've tried all of the other Fenty foundations except this one. So I'm like, let me try it. Because that's the one everyone raves about. Instead of the, the matte one. Which I need to know what's the details. And then I picked up the Born This Way Super Coverage Concealer. So I got the color Warm Beige, I think. Yeah. So I'm going to try that again. I did try it before, but I didn't know as much as I know now. So I'm just hoping that it lives up to what everyone said. Because I'm going to say, get the Too Faced, get the Too Faced, whatever. But I picked up the Fenty Foundation Powder again. This time I got 350. I was actually matched to 360, but I think 350 should be a better match because it is also neutral. So just like 385, 350 is neutral. And apparently I'm neutral, which I did not know. 
And I also picked this up, which I was pretty like excited to try. This is the Soft Matte Complete Foundation from NARS. So this is super new. It's supposed to be like basically a softer matte. But I heard it's like kind of radiant, but not too matte. I don't know. It's supposed to be like the perfect medium. And I'm medium deep Morea. I think that's how you say it, which was surprising to me because that's like kind of light. But I have been inside. So let's get back to the video. I'm seeing like, I saw like four or five people pass by with stuff in their hand that look like they're going to return it to Home Goods. So I already know there's about to be a long line. I think I'm going to go to Home Goods, serve the area. If they don't have anything, then I'll go to Target. And then I'm going to go home. I may or may not cook dinner. I have to figure it out but yeah i'll be right back i'll see you guys in a minute when i get to home goods i'll try to vlog in there but i don't know the last time they didn't really have anything so hopefully they have more see y'all in a minute so i just got to home goods and they want to be making announcements that they close in 30 minutes <laughs> not today but but i'm really confused about this whole monkey thing they have going on it's like this clown gorilla and i don't know how to feel about it it's like i don't understand like is it like came of the jungle but then that would be a lot of them. I don't know. I'm trying to see if I see anything that I like. Anything that I like. I don't like that. I didn't see anything. Oh my god, I must have tripped over my own shoes. What the fuck? What do you guys think this is? I honestly don't know. I feel like it would go with my room before, but I don't really know what it is. Like, I thought it was a plant skin, but then I'm like, how would the second plant fit? <laughs> so, I don't, know. I don't know. So, I picked up these. I'm going to use them to organize my snacks in the kitchen. So, these could be, like, the smaller, like, nuts, bags of chips. These could be for, like, granola bars and stuff like that, little bags of nuts. And then these can be for like um, smaller stuff. It's painted. So I have four of them. I think I'm gonna get one more. They have a bunch here. They also have these, but I don't think these like. I kind of like the other ones better. I like the wire at the top. And this tray is just flat, which doesn't make any sense for what I want it for. So I'm probably just gonna get this one. I don't think I need two of this for the one. This one's nice though. I probably don't need two of the small ones. Probably just get two medium, more large. With all the chips, I think that is it. I want to see what Target has also. But I'm still not like, I don't know, I'm not craving it OD. Maybe I can wait till Wednesday and have chicken legs. Yeah, if you can wait and have something better. So you guys, <laughs> look at my lips. <laughs> I just did my nighttime skincare routine. I just wanted to come and show you guys my skin. So, I don't know. I'm going to put in, like, a picture of how these marks look before. They are getting much lighter. I just got this new gadget on my forehead. But, things are looking up. Except, I have these two nasty, nasty, nasty bumps on my chin. I have this one. This one. Where is it? It's gross. I don't know how like one here. But it's not bad, not bad, not bad. I'm doing my nighttime skincare routine right now. So um, I have my esthetician appointment on Thursday. Today is Sunday. So I'm excited for that. I'm hoping I can get a chemical feel. As always, I will let you guys know what the situation is. And I will try to record the whole process. I was going to say period, but that didn't make no sense. But yeah, so I'll let you guys know. And the treatment I'm getting, hopefully, will be a chemical laser treatment. 
So I didn't record an outro, obviously, because this is like, I'm new to the vlog stuff. So make sure you go ahead and hit the red subscribe button down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. Let me know if you have any of those makeup products. If you have like any experiences with COVID. I know like it's been affecting everyone differently. And it's just like really a crazy time. And yeah, I'm going to be doing some more home decor videos. So if you didn't already watch my home goods haul, make sure you go and watch that. And let me know what other videos you guys would like to see. And just so you guys are aware, I am recording on my new Sony ZV-1. I did record like the um, first impressions, but I look crazy. So I might record it again. But I'll see you guys in my next video.